Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, this is Qin Yu. So today my talk my talk will will focus on the uh, solve fractional differential equations with my with my uh, developed package fractional diffq.gl and uh, some recent advances in boundary value problem solving in the SML universe. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm currently a master student at at Zhejiang University. Um, also in the Past year, I am the GSOC student, um, and in this year, uh, and in this year, we received the NumFocus uh, Small Development Grant to uh, develop the boundary value differential algebraic equation solvers. Yeah. So uh, next, so um, my talk will divide in divide into three parts. So first, let's see how to solve a fractional differential equations with fractional difficult okay. Um, okay, uh, so nature's always like behaving a fractional order way. So uh, some research found that instead of using the euro differentiation or uh, euro integral, fractional differential equations, uh, um, fractional differentiation and the fractional integral can usually better describe the world. Right. So, uh, from the, uh, for example, for uh, for example, the uh, Kirchhoff circle law, or the uh, to the Newtonian mechanics. Uh, so, uh, the uh, the fractional order differentiation can introduce us to the um, fractional differential equations. Uh, as for the uh, as for the multi-order. Uh, fractional differential equation system, fractional difficult or JL has the most solver available for this kind of uh, uh, problems, like the like the commensurate order or the non-commensurate order. Um, during the recent refactors, uh, fractional difficult dot JL can can handle similarly with uh, the ordinary difficult dot JL, like solving the uh, fractional ordinary differential equations, like. Uh, uh, we have uh, we have uh, several solvers like the uh, product integral integration rules and uh, fractional linear multi steps methods. Um, so like so let's take let's take a look at the um, numerical example here. Mm. So to model a multi order system, we just need to follow the design pattern of the ordinary differential, uh, like like the ordinary difficult or GL. So, so we can see the code here. We need to define its right hand side um, and its time interval, the initial the initial condition, and uh, the and the fractional orders, right? So we can directly call this solve uh, function and uh, use some uh, uh, appropriate solver. So, yeah, we can get the numerical solution of our uh, fractional ordinary differential equation model. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, next, we can uh, uh, fractional differential fractional difficult or JL can also handle the multi the linear multi terms fractional ordinary differential equation. Um, the currently supported solvers are the product integration rules solvers. So uh, there are explicit ones and uh, implicit ones. So we can directly see the numerical example here. So to have a more intuitive, uh, um, so so we can see here, uh, with the initial conditions specified as uh, uh, as here, we can just follow the design pattern uh, from the previous section. So we can construct a model and call this solver to solve our uh, yeah, that's this kind of uh, uh, linear multi-terms FODE, right? And uh, and uh, and uh, we can use the numerical solver to solve this linear multi-terms problem. Uh, and also, uh, fractional difficult GL also has a good support for fractional de delay differential equations. Both single leg and uh, multiple legs is also supported. Uh, they utilize the uh, predictor character methods to obtain a high precision numerical solution of the fractional delay differential equation. So uh, we would directly see an uh, easy, relatively easy example here. So I mean fractional delay if 
uh, differential equations is also similar with the delay delay diffq.jl. We need to construct our FDDD problem and uh, call the corresponding solver to solve this problem. Here are the system, uh, yeah, here are the uh, people growth model. We can use, uh, um, instead of using the delay differential equations, we can use the fractional order delay differential equation to, to have a better uh, describe of this uh, people growth model. And uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, the future plans of uh, the package fractional DFQ.jl, uh, yeah, um, um, because it's it's part of my free time uh, uh, contribution to the uh, Julia ecosystem. So I think maybe uh, next time next time we should uh, add more powerful servers and uh, uh, yeah, the internals of the servers are not very uh, are, are, are kind of clumsy, so we should refactor the whole package and provide a, a, a high performance one solvers. Mm. So next is the recent progress of the uh, BVP solving in the SignMail universe. Okay, uh, this chart is made by Chris Rikakis. Uh I believe many of you may Maybe familiar, maybe familiar with the differential equation solving ecosystem in Julia and some L stack. So, as the most powerful as the most powerful DFQ so suit, uh, differential equations or GL can handle many kinds of problems, like solving ODE, uh, DDE, SDE, makes this make solving these equations so much easy. Mm. However, as for the as for the boundary value problem solving differential equations dot gl uh, differential equations dot gl's capability is relatively just ordinary and lack the powerful solvers tailored for this kind of problem um, so currently the popular bvp solvers like uh, like bvp 4c bvp 5c and uh, bvp solver in scipy uh, all are using the collocation methods to achieve a better, to achieve a better uh, performance. So in this case, differential equations or capability for BVP problem solving is lagged behind the MATLAB and uh, like SciPy. Um, but luckily, uh, all all this chart, all this situation is just as the table was made. Uh, the situation has gotten better uh, in the current status. Uh, so, uh, boundary value problems are a very important kind of mathematical model, um, playing play an important role in physics and uh, economics, etc. Um, a boundary value problem is actually an ODE, but just with some more constraints as uh, an uh, among the whole time interval. Uh, so, uh, we can see the classic. The classical example is the swirling flow problem and the best launching problems in optimal, optimal control. Um, all of this is just solving a large boundary value problems. So uh, let's start with uh, let's start with what what we are already familiar: uh, the explicit wrong quarter method and the implicit wrong quarter method. Um, as for the explicit uh, wrong quarter method. We have the uh, uh, we have the butcher table, right? We have we uh, each butcher table can define a wrong quarter uh, explicit wrong quarter method. Um, we have the coefficients. We just have the uh, and we and we have the uh, discrete stage computing equations. So uh, so uh, to uh, so a so a very easy implementation would be do a for loop and uh, utilize these parameters and the equation. We can solve our a uh, problem in a very simple way, like the sim like the uh, most s most simple solver as a like s uh, let's say older older methods, right? So and uh, and uh, and to to, uh, to our most uh, familiar with f like uh, RK4 or or DP5. Uh, so, uh, another one like the implicit wrong method methods. Uh, 
we also have their butcher table, which can define their uh, their uh, we we have their butcher table, which uh, which is the the coefficients in the solver. Uh, uh, and uh, oh, uh, similar to the explicit wrong code method, implicit wrong code method also have the uh, discrete state computing equations, but um, different from the explicit wrong code method, it needs to construct a nonlinear system to solve our to uh, to uh, represent the. Discrete is to dis uh, to represent the discrete stage computing, and uh, yeah, we just need to call the nonlinear solve to solve this nonlinear system. We can get our numerical solutions. Uh, oh yeah. Um, however, when we encountering with boundary value problems, we need to use the monotonic implicit numerical methods. Um, the deploy of of uh, the monotonic implicit neural color method can be briefly summarized as the uh, following steps. Uh, so, firstly, we need to discretize the whole time interval, uh, and and in every sub interval, uh, we can construct the collocation equation uh, using the Boucher table and uh, formulate the uh, collocation equation to a large uh, nonlinear, nonlinear system, and uh, call the nonlinear solvers like uh, like the recent advance in uh, nonlinear solver like the nonlinear solve.gl, right? So we can call nonlinear solve.gl use our uh, nonlinear solve like a solver like a Newton like Newton Raphson or trust region method to solve our. Uh, Nonlinear system. Then we can get the numerical solution of the boundary value problems. Uh, yeah. So uh, after the nonlinear solve part, we only get the discrete solution of the bound of the boundary value problems. Um, uh, during the whole the, during the whole uh, nonlinear solve process, we can take of the we can take the advantage of the uh, powerful SAML tools like uh, uh, sparse, like sparse diff tools or GL. Um, since the uh, since our constructed nonlinear so since our constru constructed nonlinear system is a uh, almost banded uh, almost banded structure, we can uh, we can directly use the uh, uh, we can directly use the banded uh, uh, matrices or GL and uh, uh, fast almost banded matrix .gl to accelerate our nonlinear system solving. Uh, so um, uh, all, all this is just the purely solving part of the uh, of the work methods. Uh, in the context of solving differential equations, uh, the error is an important term for, like you say, like let's say, uh, evaluating the. Uh, Evaluating the obtained numerical solutions and uh, assessing the trustability of our model. Right um, here, we need to distinguish the uh, defect control and uh, error control. Uh, first, we can easily understand the uh, global error here. It's just the uh, difference between the analytical solutions and our uh, numerical solutions from uh, from uh, uh, from yeah. Uh, uh, oh, so, uh, the this uh, the global error is just uh, the uh, difference between the uh, analytical solution and uh, the numerical solution. Um, but the defect, but the defect uh, is actually the measurement of how the numerical solutions fail to satisfy the original differential equations. Um, uh, like the the packages use. Uh, Use defect control is like a uh, uh, BVP four C and uh, BVP five C in MATLAB and uh, a Merck DC BVP solver in uh, in Fortran. Uh, so um, in the uh, in the twenty twenty three GSOC project, I implemented the 
defect control adaptivity for the mock methods. The basic working flow can be checked from the broken numerical solution of uh, boundary value problems. Um, or, or you can just check, check out the GitHub PR for the details of, Im of implementing this, uh, this feature. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, oh. uh, the reason we need the adaptivity is that for any numerical algorithms, if we want a numerical solution, we need to um, we need our mesh be pretty small to get a, a higher like higher accuracy. But uh, on the other hand, to improve the accuracy of our numerical solution, we need to uh, th uh, the performance may be falling, right? Uh, so. Uh, uh, it comes to the opposite part. We want to improve our performance. We need to use a coarsen grade to, uh, like, say, uh, accelerating the whole uh, solving uh, solving process. Uh, but in this case, the, accu the the accuracy may be also falling. So uh, the uh, so the defect control adaptivity here is to. Um, is to c is to achieve the balance between accuracy and uh, efficiency. Uh, th so the core of the uh, defect control adaptivity is according to the computing defect. Uh, yeah, the defect is just uh, the uh, measurement of how the how the uh, numerical solution from uh, nonlinear solving uh, fail to satisfy the original uh, differential equation. Uh, and uh, uh, so, um, uh, and after we get the defect of our original numerical solution, we can, according to the uh, defect, we define, to, uh, we decide to uh, refine our refine our mesh and uh, get a uh, and and make the accuracy and performance. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so here is an easy, easy boundary value problem example, which uh, which satisfies the boundary boundary conditions. We can, um, yeah. Um, so um, we can convert it to a first order problem. Uh, so so this is just a simple boundary value problem. Um, we said the we said the adaptive keyword ar argument. To be true, so we can turn on the defect control adaptivity in the numerical solver. Uh, then we can uh, we can get a control of the accuracy and the performance of our um, numerical solution. Oh yeah. Um, apart from Merck methods, we can also use the shooting methods to solve boundary value problems. Um, the, shoot, uh, the shooting method is also a, a BWP solving method, which converts the BWP to IWP, and uh, hence form a uh, also uh, uh, it also uh, construct a nonlinear system. Uh, uh, but it but it achieves the BWP solving uh, by uh, adjusting the initial. Value of the nonlinear system to uh, to solve this whole um, boundary value problem. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, differential equation .jl or the whole stack of SIML universe have the similar API have the similar API, right? So uh, we just create a problem. Uh, call a solver to solve it, and uh, we can plot the numerical solution. So that's all. That's how we solve a differential equation. Uh, similarly, uh, boundary value pro boundary value dfq.jl also has the same constructor to uh, uh, for the boundary value problems. We have a BWP problem for general multipoint boundary value problems constructor, and uh, like let's say the uh, the two point BWP problem for just the boundary value problems has the Constraint in the start and uh, in the end in the time interval. Okay. Um, so 
uh, after the implementation of the default control adaptivity, we run some uh, uh, benchmarks for the implemented mark methods and uh, shooting methods against uh, the Fortran's uh, Fortran uh, against the Fortran solver, like uh, like a, a BWP solver and a BWP M2. So we can see from the uh, we can see from the benchmark here, uh, but uh, the Merck solvers in boundary value diffq.gl is pretty uh, fast. Uh, 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 it achieve bo it achieve both uh, like uh, it achieve both accuracy and uh, performance in the uh, uh, numerical solving. Okay. Okay. Uh, before uh, okay. Um, before we go any further, we need to learn some uh, basic ideas of uh, Rongo Kota Nystrom methods for like for uh, second order initial value problems. Um, uh, instead of di directly transforming the second order IVP to several first order ones, we can directly use Archi N methods. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the Rongo Kota Nystrom methods uh, to solve the second order initial value problem. Um, for example. Uh, 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 for example, we have a second order uh, IVP with the initial value and the derivative of the uh, of the initial value problem. Similarly, w similarly, we can uh, all we need is the butcher table and uh, the computing and the computing of the discrete stages, and uh, uh, then we can uh, we can uh, process the iterative computing during the whole uh, discretized mesh and uh, we can get the numerical solution of a second order uh, initial value problem uh, in the BWP solving part we also have this kind of uh, uh, nystrom method uh, it's called monotonic uh, implicit wrong quarter nystrom methods uh, it has a similar idea of the previous Merck methods uh, with the butcher table, we uh, we uh, oh yeah, we first need to discretize our uh, second order BWP problem and uh, construct the nonlinear system uh, so that we can uh, directly call the nonlinear solver to uh, solve our nonlinear system and we can get the uh, numerical solution. Uh, yeah, yeah. For example, uh, if we want to solve this second-order BWP problem uh, with with such uh, let's say with such uh, six boundary constraints, mm, we can just write our model in a similar style and uh, call the uh, Merkin methods from boundary value diffq.gl uh, to solve this BWP system directly, and then we can have the numerical solutions on the on the right on the right side. Okay. Uh, differential e mm, differential equations dot mm, the package uh, uh, oh oh here oh the uh, second order BWP problem constructor and uh, two point uh, second order BWP problem constructor is uh, is similar with the previous first order one uh, yeah just some uh, uh, yeah oh, okay next is the non focused is the uh, non-focus mode development grant progress. Uh, so let's say a boundary value differential algebraic equation have the separated form of a combination of a differential and uh, algebraic equations with boundary conditions specified as at both ends uh, or among the time interval. Uh, for example, in optimal control, uh, or uh, uh, parameter estimation, etc. Uh, boundary value problem, boundary value differential algebraic equations always show up, um, uh, like the right hand side uh, hydrodynamic semiconductor equations. Here is an index one uh, boundary value differential algebraic equation. Uh, okay, uh, so B so uh, BDF and a certain implicit wrong color method can behave very well on the in on the initial value. DAE, um, uh, 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 this method might cause the instability when solving uh, a boundary value kind of uh, uh, differential algebraic equations. So, uh, so we need to so we need our native uh, BVDAE solver in the Samuel universe. Um, 
Um, let's see a horizontal comp comparison of the current BVDA servers. Uh, let's say the MATLAB and the Mathematica doesn't have such uh, boundary value differential algebraic equation solver, and uh, uh, Fortran only has the core DAE solver for these kind of problems. Python or R just uh, interfacing from uh, Fortran to solve these kind of problems. Um, uh, in, in Julia, uh, or in SIML, we decide to implement our native boundary value uh, differential order break equations to support this kind of uh, problem solving. Yeah. Mm. So the basic idea, so the basic, the basic idea of uh, solving this uh, boundary value differential order equation is is just the collocation methods for boundary uh, for this kind of problems. We need to we need to build a nonlinear system uh, in the collocation points and uh, deploy the uh, and deploy the Newton and uh, and, de and deploy the Newton iteration methods to solve this uh, to solve this large nonlinear system. Um, here we will dive into the detail of this uh, of these methods. Um, okay. Um, uh, uh, first, we have case we have this K stage collocation. Uh, uh, goes stage uh, collocation points. Yeah, um, according to the monomial representation uh, of uh, for for piecewise approximation, we can set up the collocation equations in this, in this uh, collocation points. Uh, and then uh, substitute then substitute substitute the monomial representation. We can get the um, nonlinear system. Uh, all we all we left to do is just solving this system, we can get the uh, numerical solution of this uh, index one uh, differential algebra equation. Uh, so uh, so uh, during the uh, discretizing uh, process, we need to solve this, uh, we, need to ca we need to solve this linear system. The, um, this linear system is not just uh, uh, banded or block diagonal, it's, uh, it's more of a almost block diagonal matrices. Uh, like uh, they ha uh, it's similar to the uh, it's similar to the block diagonal, but they have some overlapping in the uh, during the adjacent corner. So in order to solve this kind of linear systems, uh, we need to uh, we develop uh, we de developed the pa the Julia package uh, like uh, almost uh, uh, block diagonals to GL to solve this kind of uh, linear, linear system. Uh, the details of solving this kind of uh, almost block diagonal system is we is instead we directly solving it. Uh, it would be a uh, 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 oh yeah we we can uh, transform. The almost block diagonal system uh, by uh, we add a random uh, we add a random we add a random rule in, uh, in the first rule of uh, of each uh, block matrix and uh, we divide this uh, we and we divide this um, we divide this matrix into like uh, uh, yeah we divide each one and. Uh, we factorize one by one, so we can get the factorized uh, the factorized form of this uh, matrix. Uh, so, so uh, next we uh, so, so next if we want to solve this linear system, we just use the uh, forward uh, substitution or the backward substitution to uh, you know just get the uh, numerical solution of this. Uh, of this linear system, yeah. Uh, so so here is a easy numerical boundary value differential algebraic equation example. Uh, it's just uh, a it's just an index one uh, BVDAE problem with with the boundary conditions specified as follow. So uh, during the past several months of working, it is already. Can successfully solving this. Uh, it can already uh, it can already successfully solving this problem, uh, but uh, as for the higher index one or uh, like say uh, in index two, index three, uh, 
the initial condition case, we can directly using the modeling toolkit to, uh, to let's say, decrease our index and uh, directly solving using ordinary dfq.gl. Uh, uh, in the boundary value case, we need to implement such uh, such a uh, projected. Uh, oh, yeah, it's in, it's in the in the in the future plan. Yeah, we need to we to we need to implement such projected collocation methods to. Uh, to uh, let's say it's it's just in the subinterval, in the in the uh, uh, oh the project implicit uh, collocation method just uh, project the solution in uh, in the end of every some of in the end of uh, each subinterval and uh, uh, complete the solving process. Uh, so uh, so in the uh, future plans of this uh, num focus project, we plan to refactor the current implementation. Uh, you know, just uh, uh, the pr the subroutine is just uh, complex, uh, so we need to uh, uh, we need to clean this subroutine as much as possible. Uh, also, su uh, the su also implement the support for index to be problem solving and uh, such uh, and such benchmarks for. Uh, you know, it's just uh, from Fortran one or from for or from Python or from uh, uh, R. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. That's Thank all. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Maybe yeah. just one sh just quick question, if there's any. Uh, okay, one question and the rest. Uh, I guess you can. You're available during the break, right? So yeah, we can yeah. continue to discuss. Yeah. Thanks for the talk. I have a question uh, regarding your fractional derivatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, there are different flavors of fractional derivatives. For instance, you have Caputo derivatives. Or uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like what kind? How how do you decide? Um, I mean, these are actually different. For instance, for Riemann Liouville, when you take a derivative of a constant, you basically get uh, uh, only a term there, so it doesn't. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. a good question. Uh, f yeah, uh, the most the most used the most used case is the is the Caputo one, right? So uh, in the fractional difficult JL, we only support the Caputo uh, sense of uh, fractional derivative, fractional differential equations solving. Yeah. Uh, can I ask for more questions? Uh, what about the stochastic fractional derivatives? Like when you have stochastic differential Stochast equation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's the that's in the future plans, but currently it it doesn't support. Yeah. Let's thank the speaker again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>